Hey everyone, I've got fantastic news. Today, we're going to be changing the power supply in my MDD. I showed you an MDD not so long back and um, the power supply has gone on it and uh, we're going to be changing that so that's going to be awesome. Now that's going to be its own video which is this video that you're watching now and then hopefully the video after that will be an upgrade video where we're going to completely upgrade this thing, um, sort it out to its max and all that stuff is going to be really really great. Um, I promised you an upgrade video for my Quicksilver like a year and a half ago and I never did it so hopefully um, this will be just as good as that would have been. That was a bit of a fail anyway. But anyway, um, I've got the power supply, I've got the Mac down, um, it lives upstairs and uh, yeah, basically um, I'm just going to get straight into it. Let so let's see what we've got. So here is the box for the power supply guys, I've already opened it to have a look. I got this refurbished off of eBay for £69.99. Um, that's about how much they run you generally. Here is an MDD power supply. Um, it's one of the most simplest things out there. You've got a screw hole here. Um, you've got a hole here. I believe this is an Allen key hole. Um, I'll have to double check that before I put it in. And then all the wires coming off, really simple. You've just got one uh, 20 pin connector for your motherboard and you've got six Molex connectors. Um, two for the optical drives and four for the hard drives. So there's the power supply guys and all we're going to do first of all is um, we're not going to install it or anything we're just going to plug this into the motherboard and see if it powers up the computer and if it does power up the computer we are sorted and we can install the power supply okay everyone here is a general overview of the MDD um, sorry if I block any of the shots during this but um, I've just unplugged the 20 pin connector there it is we'll move that out of the way and we'll bring over our new power supply and we're just going to stick it over here. We're not going to run the machine like this at all, guys. This is just extremely temporary. This fits over here. Just about. Cool. We've got the main 20 pin plugged in. We're going to plug our power connection into the back of the power supply unit. Now, let's just see what you can see. That's awesome. I'm going to turn on the main power on the wall. And we're going to turn on the power button on the computer. We're powering up. Epic. She works, guys. And my God, am I pleased. This power supply works and my motherboard and everything works. We've got a bong. There was nothing wrong with the RAM. That is awesome, guys. All I've got to do now is rip out the old one and install this one. It was a power supply issue after all. Oh, that is unbelievably good news. I am very, very pleased with that news. This is really cool. Right then, so now we're getting on to the exciting part. Time to literally pull out everything from the MDD and install the power supply. So I hope you've got a good view there, guys. All we're going to do first is pull out our optical drives and hard drives. So I've got none of these screwed in. Um, they weren't screwed in when they came to me. So we'll just pull out these enclosures now. Here's an 80 gig drive, and we have another one over here. Let's just see if we can pull this one out. There you go, that's another 80 gig drive. There's uh, 160 gigs in this machine in total at the moment. Um, you can see what I'm planning on doing with all that in the good old upgrade video, which should be coming next, if all this goes to plan anyway. There you have it, and there's the optical drive cage with uh, looks like a stock Apple optical drive. Awesome. So we have all the cages out, guys. That couldn't have been simpler. All we've got to do now is, um, I'm just gonna get all these ID cables out of the way. We're gonna get the main 20 pin connector and we're gonna, un I'll bring the camera down in a minute to see if you can see a little bit more under here. We're gonna unhook it and bring it out over there. We might have to, I don't know if we have to take out this fan. Doesn't feel as if we have to take out this fan, but you never know. And then we'll pull out the power supply. Awesome, this is going really well, guys. So guys, I hope you can see at least something. You've got these little clips under here which um, hold on the main 20 pin connector. And they just unclip and the connector comes out. It's a very thick cable. There you have it. 
and it should just come straight out the back. Yep, yeah, awesome, it's come right out. There you have it, that couldn't have been easier. Really, really easy. So there you have it guys, you can see that everything's loose. We've just got all the cables hanging here. It's just like the other power supply. Um, what we're gonna do now is simply unscrew the power supply up here. So here's the power supply screw. See if we can get our screwdriver back there. I'm actually working blind at the moment. I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm working by feeling where everything is. Got it. Drop the screw. Got it. There's the power supply screw. I must remember that this one's for the power supply. So we will put it safe and I remember where it is. So that's awesome. All I need now is, I believe, an Allen key to go in the back. So um, I'll just pop out to the shed and see what we've got. So guys, the power supply is out. I went into the shed and got um, my Allen key set and everything, and I looked online and they said it required a 2.5. So I got my 2.5 out, started to poke it in the back, and there was, there was no screw in there. So uh, I just pulled out the power supply and uh, out it popped. So I have no screw hole for the back, but to be uh, quite honest with you, um, th that screw the hole there and these four metal clips are uh, plenty to uh, hold in the power supply. I could put a normal Phillips screw in there maybe, um, I'm not sure, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So the power supply is out and all I'm going to do now is shove in the new one. So guys, the new power supply is officially uh, installed. It's screwed in and it's not going anywhere, it's perfectly stable and uh, it went in without any worries at all really. So here we have um, a couple of connections that I'm going to put through that little hole. Here's the main 20 pin which is obviously going through and I'm also going to put through um, two Molex connections for the hard disks down in that area. So let's push through these Molex connections back here alongside this fan. There you go, that's perfectly pulling the cables down now, ready for the uh, the hard drives and whatnot. And then we will get the beast through. Which is actually quite hard to get through from this angle. Here we go, we're going now. Now, I'm being lazy, I reckon, guys. It'd probably be much easier if we took out this, uh, this fan and whatnot and got rid of these IDE cables that are in the way. But I'm really lazy, so I didn't do that. So let's plug that in there. Awesome, the new power supply is officially plugged in. Let's just bring you down a little bit so you can see a bit more down there. Awesome. We're going to reapply the um, little clips under here. Sorry that I haven't been able to capture the view of these very well guys. Um, basically it's two little plastic tabs that keep this wire in place and they're quite cool really they just pop on and off. Just trying to get the cable to sit down in there now. There you have it. One, One's popped in and the second one is popped in as well. So there you go, that's the 20 pin connector all held down and the two Molex connections for the hard drives down there and here are the two optical drive connections and those two hard drive connections. That is awesome guys. So let's get on to installing the optical drive. Optical drives are successfully in, time to just pop in the hard drive. So this just slides in. There you go, clicks into place really nice like so. Hopefully I got most of that in guys, I think I did. We've got everything back in, um, the power supply, the new one we installed, 
uh, hard drive over here, hard drive under here, and our optical drive there. So let's close her up. And there you have it. It's a bit stiff on the old clothes. But it always has been. We'll see if it's rubbing against anything later. But all I want to do now is connect it up to a monitor and see um, what it does. We've got it. She's up and running. Perfect. And she's miles quieter than my old MDD. Awesome. Hey guys, so sorry about the light and everything. Um, you may be wondering what the hell is going on. I just had all this back together and it was working perfectly. Um, unfortunately, and I'm very frustrated with myself, um, in my haste to get it back together quickly, I actually snapped the main fan header for the 120mm fan, um, this main CPU cooling fan. I tested it all out. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure all the fans were running and everything, and I powered it up, and it was all working fine. And the CPU was getting hot, and I could feel that there was no air coming through there whatsoever, and I could see that the blades weren't turning. So I thought it was a simple case of plugging it back in. As I su suspected, it was unplugged, but it wouldn't click in, because this little piece of plastic had snapped off the header. You can... Sorry, guys. You can barely see it. There it is. Tiny bit of plastic. And that clicks into place. For the fan. So as you can see guys I've done an extreme bodge job of uh, taping that back up together. Um, I've used electrical insulating tape of course, nothing else. Um, the reason it looks so crap is because the the amount of force needed, because it was like a clip, you, know, you all know how fan head does work, because it was like a clip it needed it needed so much force to hold it against the other one, so it's just an entire thick amount of tape on there. But um, hopefully that will do the trick. I'll just plug the power cable back in, and we'll see if the air blows out of it. Let's go, power up. So it is blowing air now, thank God, but I have no idea if it's going to survive, you know, having the door closed and opened all the time, and... Uh, hopefully that'll do the trick. If not, we'll think of a more permanent solution. But anyway, guys, the power supply replacement was an extreme success. As you can see, the power supply is working perfectly, and the Mac works brilliant. So, guys, the next video will hopefully be an upgrade video, unless something goes wrong. Um, with the MDD, which hopefully it won't. So yeah, this is all sorted, guys.